the earliest references to pedophilia in the church context date back to 190 AD. So for two millennia, the Catholic Church actually uniquely has had an understanding of the reality, the fact of uh, the sexual abuse of children by its priests. It just chose to do very little about it. I was instrumental in setting up, uh, in the setting up of an inquiry called the Ferns Inquiry, which reported a few years ago now, and, and uh, it's the end point of my book, Beyond Belief, and the, the, that report. That was the first ever major state investigation into the Catholic Church and state's handling of abuse perpetrated by priests. This report that's out today, this investigation actually predates the establishment of the Ferns Inquiry. It was set up almost 10 years ago. It is the largest and most significant and in-depth investigation of a system which violated, brutalized, raped and neglected children uh, uh, really since the foundation of the Irish state. It's a huge, huge report, a very significant report that has enormous importance in Ireland, but that actually has huge importance outside of our, uh, Ireland in understanding the institutional response of the Roman Catholic Church to these scandals. It is a global problem, it is a global issue, uh, and because it's a global institution, the institution didn't just move priests around dioceses or countries, it moved them from continent to continent. And that responsibility, frankly, rests with the hierarchy of that institution all the way to the top, all the way to the Pope himself. I think it will undoubtedly inflict further damage on the authority of the Catholic Church unless the Church embraces and acknowledges and takes responsibility for the findings of the report. I think there is frankly a danger that Irish society may also not be prepared to recognise our collective responsibility for what happened to our children. Uh, you know, the, the, the children who were put in these institutions were the most marginalised. They were children living in extreme poverty, uh, children who it was deemed were at moral danger because of the lifestyle decisions of their parents. I mean, appallingly subjective, judgmental decisions that saw children removed from loving homes and put in these institutions. But these were the most marginal, uh, uh, marginalised children. These were the children that nobody wanted to see. And because we didn't want to see them, we banished them to these institutions where they were brutalised. And we have to take as a society responsibility for that. Uh, the huge lesson for us, and frankly not just for Ireland, but the huge lesson for all of us as people, is to recognise that wherever we create a system where we dump vulnerable people, where we abdicate our collective responsibility, morally and legally, for the care of the vulnerable members of our society, and where we don't allow uh, uh, accountability, where we create an institution that is beyond uh, questioning, beyond accountability, then appalling violations will happen. That's the reality in Ireland, it's been the reality in the United States, in Australia, as I found out a few years ago in Brazil, across the Roman Catholic world. But it's not just about church, it's about ensuring that we recognise our collective responsibility for each other and act upon that. And one woman said to me, you know, I asked her, did she know about what Father Sean Fortune, the priest who abused me, was doing? And she said, oh yeah, people used to joke about it. Don't bend down in front of him in the churchyard. I asked another man, did people talk about it? And he said, yeah, well, people would tell you without really telling you. And of course, what he meant was that people were able to turn it into a joke or, or gossip. So they got the salacious thrill of the joke or the gossip without having to take responsibility for what they knew. People chose to deny a wrong that they saw happen in front of them. And the result of that was the ongoing perpetration of really horrific crimes against children uh, and society abdicating any responsibility for that. So yes, people knew. People always know. The things that happen in the world happen because we tolerate them and it's up to us to choose not to tolerate them if we want to change that.